Hey guys, it's Spacey and welcome to what I am sure is aptly titled a review of Forest Inc. Or at least a Forest Inc. haul. Uh, and when I say haul, I mean like a mini haul. I really only got three pieces, but I wanted to try them out. They're advertised to me all the time on like Pinterest and like Instagram. Actually, it's more Instagram than anything. Um, and I've just been really curious. Um, so I did grab a couple of pieces. And so, yeah, we're going to get right into that. So I got my little handy dandy thing. The first thing I got. Okay, hold on. Let me get my get my pile of stuff. Guys, I got the Rosemary Bloomers. They were $65. Um, okay. Listen, I don't know if I can pull these off. Okay. I don't know, but I was curious enough to try them. Um, okay. So they got the ruffles all around. We'll put them on in a second and we'll talk about them. But yeah, I, I, I was curious. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I kind of like the trend. Like I see it and I'm like, I'm kind of interested in trying that, but I don't really know. I'm not a shorts person to begin with. I do have some shorts. My bird is, uh, uh you, are you talking to, you going to talk about him? He only talks when I talk anyway. Um, uh, but I was like, I don't, I don't know if I can pull them off. I don't know if it's going to work, but I was willing to try. I will freaking tell you though, like for being polyester, they are the softest freaking thing. Um, the ruffles that go around are a little more of the smooth, a smoother texture, almost not like satin, but you know how like satin has that slippery kind of feeling. They have that, but they're still very soft. And this feels like soft fucking cotton, guys. Like it's ridiculous. Um, so we'll get them putting on those. The next thing I got was the Delia M line buckle skirt. I couldn't resist when I saw this. I've seen this advertised too. This long freaking skirt, black and white stripes. The thing is, hi, these slits go all the way fucking up. But again, made out of that same soft frickin' material. God, it feels so, it's like butter. Okay, I love a black and white stripe. Uh, this was $56. Um, and then I had been debating and I was like, do I buy this stuff? Maybe I'll wait till after Christmas. Then they did their holiday drop. There was only like four items. Um, they had the bloomers in red. They had a couple of other things. And then they had this dress. This is the Valencia midi dress or Valencia midi dress, whatever. Um, it's just like the sheer mesh, but it's got bows all down the front. And I was like, you know what? Not exactly super Christmassy, but could also be Christmassy. So I grabbed that. This was $60. I was looking at my thing over there. I'm not like, you know, whatever. Anyway, so let's get into trying these on. I will put up the pictures of the items like from the website and everything, how I normally do because we do this the long way because we record on my phone because I'm cheap and lazy. Anyway, um, so we'll put up all the pictures with that and talk about it as we try things on. But I wanted to at least do that so I don't have to keep flipping back and forth, making it easier for me to edit because I'm, again, lazy. Anyway, so let's try things on and see what happens. Okay, I am, my shirt is cropped. I am wearing a tank top underneath it. Um, these are the bloomers. I got, forgot to mention I got everything in a 2X. These are actually pretty decently like size. There's plenty of freaking room in here. They're loose enough, which I like because I don't like things that dig too tight into my waist just because muffin top and like, I don't need to accentuate that. Um, hi, I don't, I don't hate these. I, I don't know how much like actual wear I would get out of them personally, just because again, I don't wear shorts. I can't wear shorts to work, but like, I don't. I don't, I, I was concerned. Listen, when you see the ads for these, you always see the girl, she's a, like, they definitely put them on a plus size girl. She's got a hips for days. It's amazing. Um, and I'm like, yeah, okay. They look great on her because she's got banging curves. I don't know how they're going to work on me and my fat ass and make me look. I, I don't hate this. I know that sometimes the bloomer things can kind of make you look and feel like a toddler and it's not what I'm going for. Look at, I'll go for dementia grandma, but I actually don't. Hey, it's really hard to see. I'm going to move a little bit like, you know, to like, but like, yeah. And then even with like this top is a crop top, but like, you know, 
tuck something into it, even with something I think that would go even over it as long as it didn't cover up the ruffles, even like longer would be okay too. Um, but like, I don't, I don't hate it. Even like, again, cause there's ruffles here where you have your lower stomach. I don't think they look terrible. I mean, I would probably put, tie the bows cause I didn't do that, but, uh, yeah, I could make this work. I, I don't know. What do you think? Seriously? Is this like, maybe not with the shirt, although it doesn't look terrible. Um, I just wanted a shirt that was at least like kind of crop so I could put this on, but like also I would wear a better bra because my boobs are like hanging to my knees right now. But like, I don't, I don't hate them. I don't, I don't, <laughs> I, guess, I like, and then the ruffle on the back, like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I, I kind of like them. Um, I may have been able to get an extra large versus a 2X, um, but I worry that those would be a little bit too snug. I don't think these look too big. They've definitely got like room in them. They're not super tight. Honestly, even down here, this elastic is very nice. It's not super digging in. So I think an extra large might have fit, but it probably would have been a little tighter in the waist, a little tighter here. And I kind of like the room in these and they're not like, I mean, sure. They're like a little big. I don't know if you can see that. It's not like, but with the ruffles, you can't I think normal shorts without the ruffles, you kind of see like that these are, it's a little baggy right here, but with the ruffles, you don't really notice. And there's definitely more comfortable in the waist and in the legs because of, you know, the size, but yeah, I don't know. I, some stockings, some like fishnet stockings or something and crazy boots and like a fun to, I think it could work and I don't hate it. I listen. I know it was kind of a weird trend to spend like 60 plus bucks on and be like, I hate it. But I was tempted and I was like, listen, you know, these ones look really cute. I think that I could manage because a lot of times when you see them, it's people are getting like the like lingerie negligee pieces that they're turning into like clothes. And that crosses a lot. Of, I don't want to say crosses a line, but it's kind of one of those like you have to do like lingerie or negligee pieces the right way for it to like look like fashion and not like sweetie you're wearing your fucking pajamas out you know what i mean you gotta be able to do it right i'm not sure i have the skill to be able to do bloomer shorts that were meant to be like part of a cutesy lingerie set or your grandma's panties like in the right way these were made to actually be like shorts so they have a style to them that i feel like hits the bloomer angle but also hits shorts, you know, and doesn't look too, too off, you know? Um, I, I, the more I wear these and I look in the view, I'm like looking at my camera and I'm thinking like stockings with these. Shit, do I bring these for Christmas with a cute top? <laughs> I don't have enough. You've seen my Christmas wardrobe at this point. I'm not sure if this is going up before Christmas or after Christmas. Um, but You've seen my Christmas wardrobe at this point. I don't have a Christmas. I need a Christmas top to be able to wear with these. I've got Christmas sweaters and I don't think a Christmas sweater is gonna work. But uh, anyway, so let's move on and try on the skirt and see what that looks like. Okay, um, hi. The slit goes all the way up and then it's even more up here. Like you're gonna see everything. That's the only thing. So um, obviously for me, I'd wear either opaque tights or like a slip skirt or something underneath it because this is a little too much leg to be showing uh, for me personally, but I loved the detail and the bird is, come here, hold on, hold on. Never mind. I think he needed to go to the bathroom. He flew to my couch and I was like, no, you can't poop on my nice chair and I was trying to get him to a spot and he just flew down the damn stairs. So he's downstairs now. It's fine. Um, but yeah, uh, the only thing about this, it, again, this one's actually comfortable on the waist too. I definitely would have kept this one the 2X because the thicker waistband does make it tighter and I can't wear it too low. I have to wear it on my fat roll because if I wore it underneath, it would be like, I don't have enough room in my muffin top. Um, but and plus, when I get skirts, even from Black Milk, anything, I like these a little bit bigger because I like more flow, uh, you know. Again, this feels like butter. 
I just want to sit here and be like, no, it's okay. I'm sad there's, there's a slight slit because I just want to feel myself. <laughs> it does. It feels really nice. I love the flow of it. I actually like, God, this is fun to walk in. I keep stepping on it though, because it's super long. Um, I suppose you could wear it even higher, you know, you could wear it higher, put a belt on it or something to give it a little, you know, um, but yeah, or oh, like heels, a little bit of a boot or something underneath it. I really do like this. It's very flowy. Hi, it's very fun. Do you want to twirl? <laughs> I'm going to fucking pass out. I'm dizzy. Um, yeah, no, I, again, the slit, I'm like, this is super fucking high. I think they have this similar skirt structure with like a top to make it as a dress, but like the bottom of the dress is the same kind of slit thing if you're more into dresses. Uh, and I think they had it in black, to be fair. Um, but I love me a black and white stripe. There's something about it. So I was not going to not buy the black and white stripe, stripe skirt. Um, but again, I would wear either like a slip skirt or something, another skirt, leggings, something underneath it, opaque tights, whatever. Um, even if I wore like a shorter, like a slip underneath it so that, okay, at least comes to here and then tights or something. That to me is like whatever layered look, just because I could wear this out. I'm probably, I don't go out a lot. I have to wear things to work. I can't wear this to work. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, did you want to see all my leg? Uh, so with a slip skirt or something underneath it that at least goes covers more, it'd be perfectly fine. You know what I mean? But like, it is sexy. Like, hey. And not when I do this. <laughs> anyway, let's try the dress. Yeah, okay. Don't mind my arms. You know me. I hate my arms. I wish I was the person that liked my arms. Um, I do think in this one... I could have done the extra large because it is a little bit kind of like looser around here. I think these are adjustable. I haven't adjusted them, um, but it, it is comfortable enough and it's not super tight or anything. It is form fitting. I do think me personally, for my taste, I could have gotten the extra large. It would have been a little snugger. This isn't bad, but it does feel a little bit looser, especially under here. Um, you know, but I think tightening these straps might help a little bit. Uh, and it's not meant to be super form fitting, you know, especially on the bottom. But yeah, I think I could have gone down a size. I wasn't sure with their sizing what it was going to be like. Um, and unfortunately for with this, like, you know, it is stretchy. So like, you know, there's plenty of stretch in here to give you some extra room and whatnot. I wasn't sure about it. I don't think I... I saw it, I added it to my cart, and I wasn't really thinking about, like, checking material or thinking too much. I just went on the safe side, getting the 2X and everything, just because I know, like, based on what I am with Killstar and Black Milk and everything like that, kind of figuring that out. Um, so, and I didn't actually look at the size charts and doing measuring. I just make assumptions. So I would check the size charts if you're going to shop. Um... But for me, generally, bottoms, again, depending on where I'm shopping, the 2X is usually fine. I know with like Killstar and stuff, I generally get a 3X just to give extra room because my waist, because I don't like things digging in like, hi, you can see like right here. This is, this is with Spanx on, but otherwise it is muffin toppy. Okay. I know that I don't want things that make my muffin top worse. So I like a little extra room in the way so I get bigger sizes. Um, uh, but like black milk, I always go with like the 2X in bottoms and I go for extra large in dresses. And so I feel like Forest Ink does more, like fits more with the same sizing in like that I do with black milk. So I feel like the dress I definitely could have gotten in the, well, not extra large, maybe they have one X, whatever, the, a size down. I could have sized down on this. I think it would have been fine because there is still plenty of room. And even if it was like a little snugger, I don't think it would have been, it would have been like, I'm used to that and that doesn't bother me. Um, this still fits fine. I, it's actually not too bad waist wise. I just don't want it to be like, it hangs, you know, I need a little bit 
of something shape here because I don't have a shape here aside from round. So I need to pretend I have a waistline. So this actually doesn't look too bad, to be fair. Um, so that's that. Uh, I'm going to flip you around and we'll do talking about out stuff. But yeah, so that's it. One last time. Turn around, Bully. Lovely. This actually might be coming along for Christmas. I do need like a shirt to wear underneath it because again, I don't like my arms, but like a sheer shirt. I need like a Christmas one. Okay. I got a black one. Sure. I got a red one, but red and red too much. I need a Christmas colored one. I don't know. But anyway, I will be back in just a second. Okay. So that was everything from Forest Inc. I'm actually really pleased with all the purchases because I think, I mean, they're on the more, I think more on the pricey side. Um, but for what I spend usually at Black Mill, I feel like this is, this is standard for what I normally spend, but like, yeah, 60 plus dollars for everything at each individual piece. That is kind of, I, I feel like more on the expensive side, but I will say for that, like, these are good quality. Like they're really nice. I wasn't sure what to expect, but like for the fact that I think the skirt, I don't know about the bloomers, but I know the skirt is like polyester and rayon or elastic or whatever, but for it being mostly polyester, it feels really fucking nice. Like it is not, you know, when you have like polyester clothing and you get it or you get less expensive kind of stuff where it's like that weird, you're like, it's kind of like Halloween costume material. It feels plastic. And then there's sometimes where you're like, yeah, but maybe it's like a nice Halloween plastic. You know, this is not like that at all. You don't get that. This is nice, like butter. It feels amazing. So like props to that. So however they process and make their polyester, it's great. The fabric's nice. Um, my camera is doing like a weird glitchy thing. So I'm sorry, but um, and then the dress itself is really, the lining feels very nice. This is a standard kind of like mesh. So obviously it's a little coarser feeling because it's mesh. So like, that's not a knock on the dress. Like that's standard. It feels like standard mesh. You know what I mean? It's not like mesh where you're like, oh, it feels horrible. It feels like standard mesh. So whatever. Um, and honestly, the lining's very nice and you don't really, as you're like rubbing your hands against it, it still feels nice. It's not like too, too, it's not like super coarse mesh. You know what I mean? It's a nice mesh. Mesh is always going to have a texture to it. So I think you know what I'm talking about if you have anything mesh. But anyway, um, yeah, so I like everything. Um, I would definitely buy from, again, they have a very small collection of stuff though. So it's not like there is a ton of stuff. There are a couple of dresses I've seen that I kind of have my eye on, but I have so many black dresses. I was like, you know what? I'm going to just stick with the bloomers and the skirt. And then the Christmas stuff came out and I was like, all right, sure. We'll go with that. Um, but I would check them out. Uh, they, I, I think the quality's great. I got everything pretty fast when I ordered it. Uh, case in point, I know in a prior video that is going up before Christmas, I mentioned ordering stuff for, um, like Black Friday from Killstar. That still hasn't even shipped at this point. I got this stuff after it shipped and got here and Killstar still hasn't shipped my shit. So yeah, um, I forget. I ordered this on December 4th and I'm pretty sure it was in my mail like the 9th. So it might've taken like five days. Um, cause I didn't pick up my mail till I picked my mail up yesterday. It's been a couple days. Um, so yeah, it took like five, maybe six days between order and shipping, processing everything to get it to me. That's pretty freaking good. I think. Uh, especially for around the holiday seasons. Um, but anyway, uh, so yeah, I, I actually really like this. This was a lot of fun. Um, I don't know when this is going to go up. It might be going up before Christmas. Uh, it might be going up after Christmas. It really depends on what I get done and everything. Um, I know I promised you in another video, uh, that will be going up before Christmas that like, again, I said the kill star, I got a lot of stuff on Black Friday clearance. I have some Christmas stuff from Black Mill, but I'm still waiting for all of that at this point. It's mid-December. Um, so not sure if those are gonna, you might see them after Christmas. I'm not sure. It depends what I get filmed and everything, but this might be going up next year, 
So I'm filming it in obviously mid-December. You might see it in January. Who knows? But at any rate, with that, depending on when this goes up, if it goes up before Christmas or around Christmas, I hope you have a nice holiday, whatever holiday you happen to celebrate and have a wonderful new year. If this happens to go up in January, then I hope your holiday season and your new year was wonderful. So I will see you guys around in other things. And yeah, I hope you had or have a nice, wonderful holiday season. Doodles! Thank you.